The most confusing part of an access control list or ACL is the field lists. Um, we will, I'll show you how to navigate the options that are on there um, on an ACL list. Let's uh, elevate our roles to security admin so that we can create access control lists. And once we've done that, we will open up Studio. Okay, just select your application. All right, and let's create an access control. Okay, so as you see here, there's two fields under the name section, and um, the first one opens up a table so in this case, it opens up the employee table. And then the second field has a bunch of options. The first one is none, the second one is star, and the rest of them are fields inside of our employee table. So um, the first thing I would like to go over is the none option. Uh, the none option says there are no restrictions on the table as long as you pass the requirements. So uh, in... Let me open up some that I've already made. In this example here, um, we can see that employees are allowed to see all of the records on the table. Since this is saying we're not specifying any field, we're just leaving it at the table. So employees can read all of the records on the table as long as the user of the record is themselves. Uh, the next option is the asterisk and um, for that we'll open up this example here. So this is the asterisk says that uh, the users with the designated roles are able to view all the fields so the none means all the records in the table and the star means all of the fields in the record. So in this case, we have granted access to the employees, the managers, and the admin uh, so that they can see all the fields in their own records, in the records that we specified earlier uh, on the employee table. If we want to restrict certain fields, uh, like the comments field, for example, then we need to give them access to all the fields first. So to restrict employees from seeing the comments field, we would create a new ACL with comments selected right there. And we would have admin, um, and there's one for managers too. Um, we would grant admin and managers access to the um, to the comments field. We would not include employees since we don't want them to see it. So in this case, um, in this case, admins can read the comments in their records, the records that they have access to um, in the employee table. And in this case, um, managers can read the comments in the employee table to the records that they have access to as long as the user is one of their employees. Um, and then when we put all these together, we, uh, have, we have admins who can see all of the tables, or all the records in the table, and all the fields in the record. And then we have um, managers which can see all the records for their employees and then they can see all of the fields inside of their employees records and then we have employees and employees can only see records for themselves and they can see all the fields except for the comment fields so I know this is kind of confusing and this is just a basic quick rundown of uh, how those how that field list works um, but hopefully that cleared some things up for you.